It's a warm gesture on a bitterly cold night in Toronto. I'm Natish Bassano coming to you from the streets here where volunteers have come together in less than 24 hours to help deliver these comfort packages to some of the city's most vulnerable people. They include socks, information on where to go for shelters, and even soups. All this thanks to a post on social media. We couldn't believe that we had 30 volunteers in this kitchen helping to cook, helping to deliver the meals and it was it was incredible i've never understood the power of quote the social media but i certainly do now it all started with this post on social media calling on torontonians to volunteer poster michael choman says the response was overwhelming this all came together really quickly yesterday and uh we had the idea to uh, deliver soup to people who were uh, on the streets. Yesterday, they delivered 150 packages. Tonight, they hope to double that number and on top of that, provide 200 soups to the shelter at the Better Living Centre. The head chef is Maria Karuska, who actually cooked up this idea a while back. Everything here in the basement kitchen of the Roncesvalles United Church is made fresh from organic produce delivered by Second Harvest. She puts a lot of love and care into her cooking. That if I am not proud enough to serve that food to my family, I'm not serving it to them. And so they really appreciate that and they really, they, it really means a lot to them. And it also means a lot to the volunteers. Some of them are friends and family, others are people who just want to help out. MP Arif Varani also caught wind of the initiative through social media, even tweeting he would join. He later showed up with his seven-year-old son. For programs in churches and mosques and temples right around the city, right around the country, it's those kinds of grassroots initiatives that actually really bring community together, bring people together and help us look out for one another. And a lot of times, you know, that's sort of it from the ground up. That's where you get the best solutions is from the ground up. And out on the streets, we caught up with some of the volunteers hey delivering these comfort packages. Is it Michael? He said... Do you want to come out and help? And I said, absolutely, because this, this cold weather is unbearable. And one person who knows all too well about the cold and the streets is Ricky Atkinson. He says he knows a lot of the people on the streets because he too was once in their shoes. Now that he can do something, he wants to give back. Makes me feel good when people helped me out when I was in this position, made me feel good. So it's, uh, yeah, it's that philanthropy uh, high that you get, I guess, right? Now, Michael and Co. says that they will continue to do this type of outreach now they know that people will come to the call and it's much in need. Shelter organizers at Moss Park and Region Park Respite Centers say they're still in need of meals and are turning to the public for help. This story was brought to us by a City News viewer. If you have news in the making, here are just some of the ways you can contact us.